come to the dark side. Make your mind up. Uh oh! I'm gonna whoop your ass. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Damn! He's a rebel. He's a fucking rebel. Your language is offensive. Nobody happy now, say you come up on me now. Baby, take off your dress. That's what I can do. Oh my god, what are you doing to that chicken? <sighs> Making dinner, guys. This is how you basically make butterfly chicken. Guys, guys. So you basically cut it there and you cut the other side. And voila, your chicken is now open. And this is basically how you season it and put it in the oven. And that way, you will have crispy chicken all over, even the back. That's the aim. If you guys can remember, however, I said I had another closes cupboard. As you can see, cupboard doors. So just snitch that. Are you born this much of a snitch, or is this something that you developed over time? Check the outfit. What are we wearing today, babe? <laughs> we are wearing a la sweater. A la sweater. A la hood, Joe's hoodie. A la Joe's hoodie. As a skirt. As a skirt. Do you know what I like about it's it? Cold. This This hides it. I think you're going to wear hoodies from now on. Because why? Because it hides your bum from other gentlemen. There you go. They're not gentlemen <laughs> if they're staring though, are there they? There you go, that looks amazing. <laughs> So you think I should wear this and go out? Yeah, especially in them. What are those? What are those? And my nice sexy socks. The whole outfit is on point, guys. Yeah. And if you say otherwise, you're just jealous. You're clearly. Just jealous. Yeah, you you're clearly mouth. lying. What are we doing now to this chicken? I'm stuffing it with some flavor because because it's a whole chicken, guys, and it's still got the skin on. You basically want to make sure to just do a couple of cuts into the breast. So that you can get the seasoning inside it. Otherwise, as soon as you remove the skin, when you when you're eating it, there's no actual flavour inside the chicken. So this is what I do basically. And then once that's done, I just rub it all over the chicken. Look, the cupboard doors have still not been shut. There's bigger problems in this world than your personal <laughs> cupboard closing problems. So, on today's I Just Kitchen, what are we doing? We're making roast chicken with rice. Did you hear that? Rice, <laughs> not potatoes. And Joe's an expert in boiling rice. Oh, I'm a professional. He's a pro, guys. Professional! <laughs> oh, guys, guys. So basically, so the other week, I ran into one of you beautiful, stunning Jodas. This girl was stunning. And she came up to me and she said, Hello, I watch you. And I was just there, like, Hi! <laughs> I was so awkward. So if you're seeing this lady, I'm sorry for being so awkward. I could have sparked a conversation, but for some reason I couldn't think of anything I to say. <laughs> I, I do get nervous. I don't know why. I know that we obviously, I, I said, oh, come say hello. <laughs> but if you come say hello, get a conversation prepared because I obviously don't have anything. Have some to conversation say. cards ready. Have some conversation cards because I'm so shit. But I do appreciate you coming up, and that girl was stunning, and she was beautiful and lovely. Did she say, Did she introduce Sweet. you her name? Did she say? Her name? I didn't even ask her name, Beth. That's how shit That's I was. Terrible. I know. So if you're watching, she's probably, so probably unsubscribed after that. 
I'm so jealous. Because like nobody... No, you're, someone's yet to notice me, yet they notice you. Yeah, but I've been... And then notice me when I'm in town by myself. Like the only time they've noticed... I'm in town by myself. I'm surprised at that. I'm sure they do. You're probably I'm not aware of your surroundings. Or maybe they feel weird coming up to you. Because, you know, you look kind of scary. <laughs> not at all, guys. If you see me. <laughs> please. <laughs> he wants friends, guys. I know. I need friends. Oh, no. Oh, bless her. I know. And she was, if you are watching oh, this. Oh, she was so lucky. If the, you are watching. The young lady that, that obviously spoke to If you decided to, either, to give me a second Comment chance. below and say, that was me. Yeah. Oh yeah! Do and, that so that I can actually get to know your name. And if you see, yeah, you know? Do that, so I should have asked your name. You should have, that's just bad manners. I know, it's just, I'm just used to this guy, so sorry. I won't go that far. Just take the pan out for me, though. <laughs> oh, oh, Are you still complaining about your <laughs> Jump me, jump me, jump me, jump me, woo! Where you going, man? Away from you, man. Not my life, man. I like the way you work. Mm -hmm. No, diggy, diggy. No, 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 diggy, diggy. Back it up. Back it up. I like the way you work, it. I'm crying. I'm crying. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. Why do you want me to cry? Comment below if you know. I don't know. Oh, either. Some smart person will like that. I don't know. That's what I mean. Hopefully, some smart person will. Some very. If we were smart, fact, we would just go on Google. Some random fact knower will know it. Mm. It's just because he doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> just because he doesn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> what doesn't know it? Just because you don't know it doesn't mean that you're not smart. Obviously. Because look at us. Like we're like the cleverest. You are the cleverest people on earth. On the planet of Jonah. I can't wait to get back. Uh, to working out. To working out. Working out right. Guys, I will be back to working out very shortly. Oh, where am I going? I'm like, uh, the, 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 the reason I'm crying is I'm I coming with you to all the working out. Are killing me. Since you gave up on me. I didn't give up on you. Just because it got boring for you, you gave up on me. Because I don't work out, you're not allowed to work out. Is that what you're telling me? That's basically what you did. How? Because you didn't take the thing out for me anymore, you didn't motivate me. Well, you not, you not said you wanted to do it. Babe, of course I'm not going to say I don't want to do it because I don't want to do it, but I want you to make me do it. And make me love it until I actually love it. <sighs> the reason I'm not working out is because it's got a bad shoulder. I have a very bad shoulder. Nothing seems to be working. I'm going to see an osteopath slash chiropractor. I've been Those to see. Those things are expensive. They are very. I've been to see a physio. All give me sort of different things. What's going on? Oh, ah, so my eyes. Have command up. A woman up, shall I say? I'm dying over here. Women do it all day in the kitchen every day. Whatever. Women your cousin, are, your cousin with fat, just chopping them up, not bothered. You, even you get a tear in your eye. Woman up. I didn't even get anything in my eye. You were sitting there, <laughs> sitting like that. I was crying. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, <laughs> we that went. That was so funny. <laughs> we went to uh, uh, I just went to his house. And obviously, like all the all the women are cooking and preparing it's a lot of like food. A it's like a, yeah, a big party going on the following day. So they're preparing and cooking food. And they cook. She's feeling like a million. And <laughs> I'm sat at this table, and then this really really big sort of like bowl comes sit. They put it on the table, and it's just filled with onions. So there's me eating dead quietly in the corner. I just doing something else. She's doing another job somewhere. And Ida's cousin is just sat down, just peeling all these onions. <laughs> and I could feel my, I could genuinely feel my eyes just watering. So I'm trying to play it off like, oh, nothing's affecting me, oh, I'm not bothered. Feel like... <laughs> so I just all eating. I saw was him seeing the eating, going like that. <laughs> so yeah, I was. Ooh, speaking of now, my eyes are going. <laughs> exactly, I was in so much pain. 
and I don't know why. And I lit I had to get up and get some tissue. I was sweating, I had to wipe my um, wipe my eyes and everyone was just laughing at me in the room. Like, it was so funny because it was so silent. I was like, dude, you killed my husband. <laughs> put some water because when you put onions in cold water, it doesn't it's not as bad. But if you just leave them out like Oh is it? Yeah. Oh see, didn't know that. Learn something new every day. But yeah, anyway, I will be back to training very shortly, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, and yeah, Ida will be whenever she feels like it. Whenever no, whenever she, I feel whenever like it. Whenever she wants whenever to pull her finger me. out. Whenever she wants to pull her finger out, she will, be, she will be back to training. Because my ass is getting sagging now. So I had this idea actually. Um, if anyone else trains out me, or if you want training advice on how to get started and the exercises, you can come to me, obviously just comment, or you can email me and just ask me and obviously I will let you guys know. If you want any nutritional advice, speak to me. Yeah, I can give you some from what I have learned, um, but yeah, I do is the best one for it. She will give you the, the perfect, perfect diet for you. But the best way to find out your perfect diet is to actually go get yourself checked because everyone's body will be different so what works for one person will not work for the next but there are professional people who actually set out plans for individual people There are dietitians but the basics will work Some of yeah but then some of them no, not always though like some people will find like freaking hell I've done everything I'm supposed to do but I'm still not No I don't believe really that I'm losing weight don't believe it. You don't believe it? No, don't. Basically, the simple thing about losing weight, and it is a very simple concept, you have to burn more calories than you are putting into your body. It's as simple as that. Yeah, that's true. Don't, don't dwell on it like, oh, I have to do this, that, and the other. Stop as, counting calories. Stop. As long as you are losing more calories than you are putting into your body, You'll lose weight. You'll be fine. Obviously, then, I don't mean eat a chocolate bar and then just work out. Yeah. Eat specific. But then that's the thing. Foods. Like you have to, with when it comes to food. Like when there was a time. Remember when I first came here and I was gaining weight. I was actually then starting to look into the calories and things like that. You'd be surprised the amount of calories that are in certain things. Like a Snickers bar is about 400 and something calories. And that in itself is a meal. And a Snickers bar doesn't fill you for long. So if you have that Snickers bar, you will then need to have food on top of that. But if you have an actual good food and food that takes a while to burn out, you will get the nutrition that you need without having to eat extra but if you have like three snickers bars and then a meal that's you gone way past your calories already so you have to think about it that way don't count calories like now i don't count calories but i try this doesn't always happen to minimize my portion so when i have i have things i like but i'll have smaller portions but i very rarely have chocolate bars and things like that. Mm. Um, so you just have to balance it. You, do, you don't have to cut things out. It's obviously better to cut things out completely, but that's a bit hard in this day and age. So just get a right balance and get smaller portions because smaller portions are normally the best way to losing weight. And walk to places a lot. Even if you're exercise, walk a lot. Walking actually should does shred the weight off you. And the thing is, you won't realize it at all. Yeah, you won't realize it because you like. Just, if, no. Even if, it's, if it takes you 20 minutes in a car, as long as you're not in a hurry, walk. It will take you 40 minutes, an hour tops. It's, it's, it's a genuine, like people always say, why, why do I never drive or why, why have I never learned to drive? I always say personal reasons, but it never makes sense. But basically the reason that I haven't pull my finger out and start driving yet. Like walking. Is one, I love walking, but oh, two, you wouldn't be where, I, where I am situated in the city, it's, uh, it's like, I can go anywhere and like, I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm half an hour away. You really don't need a car. You don't need a car, and I'm half an hour away from town. Anything else I want to do, I can walk. Um, it's to a point where um, a car for us, Will be a, a much more liability than yeah, an asset. We'll be forking out like, we'll be forking out a ridiculous amount of money for like using it. The only time we actually need a car 
well most of the times it's when we go food shopping <laughs> and it, would, yeah. it would actually be a lot cheaper the amount of times to have a taxi <laughs> we have so many bags walking home but again our local food store is only 20 minutes not far at all at all it's not so, far at all so just have to i think you have to think about those things like a car would be nice because then sometimes when you just feel lazy but then that's all it is because you're feeling lazy but we have a we have the tram the public transport is so easy and so convenient for us so why pay more money when you don't have to amen to that but we should probably learn how to drive no we will because obviously you know we when we um are looking for like new houses when we're looking for places to live when we actually do eventually move we will need um, our own transport and stuff like that um, and then obviously we want to travel even if it's just to different parts of England travel down to Wales up to Scotland I, yeah, I would love I would love to take trip. I would love to take Ida up to Scotland I've been to Scotland once yeah I know but not with that not with you how did you get it? train train Train. So she went the commercial route. <laughs> she didn't get to see all the beautiful hills coming into Scotland. I did. Yeah, you, you, get probably, to you probably train. did. But no, the, <laughs> uh, the route I take, or have taken in the past, is just insanely beautiful. Step outside with us, people. Come, let's step outside there. Grab the camera. Look, guys, my version of a drone. <laughs> a camera on a freaking stand. Yep. Yeah. Carry me. I'm going to carry you. We're going to try and do that. What's on your hand? Don't worry about it. Stand back. I'm going to jump. Oh, I just said I got a back shoulder. 